Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. Now we have finally finished our first house and we're working now on the second house. And another thing that I noticed right away is the game is really adjusting to the, the shapes of the streets, right? So we got a fence now here that's looking like that, in that shape. Because the plot is working like that. And this is really cool. I wanted to find it out and it is working like that. Just really, really nice stuff overall. Then we got the se the, the middle plot here still available too. We, by now we have three people working in construction. So the oxen carry out, the oxen driver is also... Wait, wait a second. That's too many people here. Linhard? Nickel! There is a new one here. Where are you coming from, Nickel? I think he is... He actually... Yes! He appeared in this house here. <laughs> in this burgage pool. Is he the son of Peter and Christina? Does it happen so quickly? Uh, let's just check it out there. Come on, Nickel, let me click on you. Uh, there's no information, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Perhaps he also just moved in casually and they all live together. Right? Or he actually is already the son. <laughs> that would have happened rather quickly. Next house coming along. It looks different than the other one. While the next house is being finished, I would work on my next living space, right? We do need five people in total, or five of these burgage plots, so we have three. And we can then have the next ones. So there's the road, and I would like to have then the next plots then here, kind of like. Perhaps, yeah, perfect. There it is. We can have two houses in here. We could also have probably one big one. But I would like to have those two. Cost me four timber. And we actually had six, so now we have two left. And we can also build them here then. And I wonder how the game reacts to the steep incline that we have there, right? So here, it made the house taller. That is really nice to see. And also this one should be finished now any second. Next burgage plot has finished. And there is now people moving in. Yeah, Peter is now living in here, but no no wife yet. What's going on? Why does Peter not have a wife? I thought he would be bringing in the wife. But he's alone at the moment. Okay, I guess we can live with that. Oh, no, family joins. There we have it. Now someone joined. Anna joined Peter. And Anna is now also working. The second woman that we have in the village. That finally adds some variety. And there's probably popping up an adult in here soon. So that's Peter. Of course, the more houses we have now, the more the higher our consumption will be, right? So for the first time now, we consume something that is fuel that we need. So these houses need fuel and they need water. A steady supply of these things is going to be very important. And they also need entertainment and faith then. But we don't have a church yet. And the third house is coming along as well, quickly. Yeah, another cool thing is really that if you go into one of these houses here, uh, we can add upgrades to it, right? We can add a vegetable garden that would require a tool. It produces vegetables then. We can have a chicken coop and we can have a goat shed. So they will also then be working here. I don't know, this guy here seems to be making something like a boat out of it. Next burgage plot is also ready. Look at that. They also have different entrances, right? She couldn't afford a gate anymore. This guy here afforded him a, a gate. But it's a very small plot. So there's basically no garden almost. Like this one has a bigger garden. So this one here has the upgrade button. This one doesn't. This one has a big garden and doesn't have an upgrade button. So no idea. And we got nine people with that. The population is growing now. As these houses pop up. The next one. Oh yes. And as we can see. A steep incline. Requires a pretty high building. That comes out here then. As all these people work on that. And of course the more people work on it the faster. And since we have the workforce. We can also assign someone again to my granary here. We need that. Um, we have 28 food still stored. And I hope that my, my forager. Yep. Continuous. Has 13 berries now. So we have enough food for a while. Um, the firewood would probably be my next target then. 
looking quite busy here, right? Lots of things happening. The logs are being delivered right now. So once again, let's fast forward for these houses here to finish. And then we'll also finish the Humble Beginnings mission here. By the way, this looks pretty cool from afar, I guess. Yes, as we can have these big houses up there. Another nice detail is that the roads, they widen once there is a house close by and stuff like that, right? So once they're being used, these roads, uh, things are, are getting a bit taller. And I think this is then also happening um, once we got better people living here or higher tier buildings, um, that the roads then turn into brick roads and stuff like that. Very, very cool. The more a road is used, the more sophisticated it gets automatically. By the way, down here, yeah, there's the occasional travelers passing through. There we have the wide roads, but these are the let's call it international roads. So of course they're they're a bit wider. Another family joins. We got twelve people now. They're living in this burgage here now. And while this house here is being close to completion, let's also assign a few of these people to jobs, right? So we do have the forager hut, and since there's more people now, there's most likely also more food consumption. So let's assign a second person to the forager hut, and I would also like to get a bit more timber, so let's also assign a second person then to the logging camp. So those two are working a bit more efficiently. Um, the storehouse and the granary, we can keep them at level 1 here with the workers, because, yeah, this is just for transportation. I think there's not that much to transport yet. Um, he has no job right now, so he's just transporting the timber from the, the logging camp over to the storehouse, right, so that we have a bit more here being in store then. And let's just finish this one up. And there it is. Burgage pot number 5, and with that, the settlement level has increased. And also, we have finished the mission here, the Humble Beginnings. As you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She spent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing and firewood, they would be happier. Um, build three burgage plot level twos, a food stall, a firewood stall and a clothing stall. And we got 1,800 days for this, so I guess we can make this on time. Um, yeah, we do need a market, right? So these people right now, if they want to get their stuff for their burgage plot, they need to get all the way over here to the granary and to the storehouse and get those things themselves. We could also have a central market, and I would like to have it in this area, as it's just looking perfect for it. I hope it's big enough, though, um, to, to make it possible. Uh, for that, let's go ahead and have the market area allows placing market stalls within the area and thus provides a citizen access to local goods. Once again, let's have this one around the around the, the road. And why is this one here disappearing? Wasn't there a tent? Did I delete the tent? No, actually I think that the, the homeless people lived in the tent and now everybody has a home, right? So there's no more need for a tent. And all of a sudden we have this huge area in the center available there to us. I would not like to use all of it for a market though, as I would also like to have a church here at some point. So the church is also really huge and the tavern is also huge. So we cannot squeeze that in here. So we could also make a big market area out of the whole center. Right, this is my market area now. Let's build it. And in the market area, we can then have those tents. And there it is, a food stall, a clothing stall, Let's make a food stall first. Let's go ahead and have the... Oh, all of that cost me one timber at least. So the food stall is probably one of the most important ones. Let's get this one a bit more central. And let's have it look more to the inside there for now. Somewhere here, right? And then we have the firewood stall. And then we have the clothing stall on the other side. 
we do have then this central area here where people can walk around. As we can see, there's also these roads then appearing wherever people move around. So this is going to be quite the construction now. And with that, I guess then also these people will level up once they get those things. And by the way, we probably will need means of producing firewood ourselves, but let's just wait for this. And the locks have arrived and we can finish our first stall in here. And there it is. The first one, and it needs a person to work in that. So we will need three people working the market. So the clothing stand, I think, is something we don't need yet. Because we don't have any clothes uh, to sell. Alright, the next uh, stall is... Is it finished? Is that looking finished? Let's assign someone. Oh, okay, once we assign someone, it looks finished. <laughs> Let's do this. There's going to be two people now working that. And so the market area starts to, to take shape. Um, can we have some decorations here? I think not. Storage. Farming. Industry. The trade then. And the administration. But no decoration yet, as far as I can see. Four people working on one stall. <laughs> I guess it's fine. And as we can see, this guy here is now getting the bread over, ready for sale. And I think we will make some money then of this, right? Hope so. And the clothing stall finished. So now we only need to upgrade three burgage pots to level two. And grants a development point, provides better fighting equipment, rises requirements, all of the green requirements must be met. And as we can see, food is not in here yet. So the number of food needs to be higher. Now we do have bread, right? And we do have berries, but we only have berries. So I do need another another type of food. Let's have a look what we still can get out of it. Gathering. And as you can see, there's the hunting camp. So they could work on wild animals. I wonder if we can see this on the map. There's berries. There's berries here. But no wild animals. There's wild animals. Oh, that's far away. So no wild animals in my area. Unfortunately. So I will need something else that produces food. Not just berries. We do have farming available to us. Food stall. There's farming, right? So fields can produce various crops, including wheat, flax, and barley. So I guess this is what we should be going for. Alright, since the game wants me to have the food stalls here and the, the clothing stall, let's assign someone to it. And perhaps it happens then, but we don't have any clothing, right? No, we don't. Alright, so for this mission here, which uh, takes quite some time it seems, we do need to have level 2s, right? And for those level 2s, we will need quite a lot of additional things. So I would, yeah, I guess we are just freely going to continue in our expansion. And the first thing that we need here is then the farming. For the farming, I do need a farm, this one. And this one can add then fields, right? So we do have some good fertility in this area. Um, and that's it, right? So this is a good fertility area there right now. And let's have a farm close by to it then. Hmm. Could have the farm down here. I think that's a good spot for it, right? This one requires then one tool, though. Let's leave a bit of space up there so I can have more houses if I want to. And there you go. This is the farm. And then we have the field right across it. This one. Along the road that we have down here. Oh, all right. And based on the, on the size of the field, we do have then the amount of workers that work in there. So this one will need four workers already. Field workers. Holy cow, that's big. Oh, that's small, actually. Let's build the farm. And let's assign us another person to the logging camp. We do need more people. We have five timbers still left, so this is going to be used then. And as we can see also here, the food stall is now full. 
and also my firewood stall is also full. And this should only be used by temporary workers, right? So we can enable this button here. Use this setting to control whether peasants should use the building as a temporary job on their island. This is a really cool option. And construction of the farm has started. And it takes quite some time, as the farm is a pretty big building. There's also more logs coming in. So what I like as well is that the workers already start working, even if not all the goods are in yet, right? So while he's delivering, they continue working on what they can. That is really cool. Makes it look very busy, my construction site. And there it is. The farm has been finished. It is also connected. Um, and then we can also say the threshing priority, total field workers and set the work area. So I wonder if we set it here now. If they do something automatically. Let's assign some people to this. And they will then hopefully produce something. Or do we need to have the fields now too? Let's build the first field then as well, right? So this we can have then right over here. Oh, this is appearing immediately. And here we can now decide on the crop type. So we have the emmer, so wheat, barley, and flax. Flax is for the linen, obviously, to make clothes, and Emmer has an 86% soil fertility. So let's go for this one here. We can also have a crop rotation. Very interesting, right? So we should have this probably. And then some flax as well. Probably fertility is going up, hopefully, at some point. Um, force early harvest. No burn crops. No. That looks really complicated. And the workforce limit is 4, right? So we have now the farm here. And we have the work radius here. So this is getting the field then in and people will work in there. Hopefully we have someone for it. Let's just check it out. There's two people working here. Three here. I think no one is joining right now because we still have ongoing construction. We have 15 now. Or should we have more houses? I, I think we should have more houses. Let's build another house. We want to grow a bit. Another burgage plot. We can have this one here. Right next to the farm then. Right? And then probably on that side here too. But for that I will need to have a road then. That goes all the way here. But I'm going to make this road later. Because right now I don't know how much space we are going to need then here. But yeah the farm is starting. And hopefully someone is working on it. By now it is August, so um, crop harvest starts in late summer. So at the moment, as we can see, plowing for quick summer harvest is possible. Um, and in winter we do have the firewood requirement, chance of getting ill and berry deposits vanish. So I guess no one is going to work the fields at this point, because we are in late summer now. So doesn't make sense, right? No one is going to work on it, this remains empty. We can just finish that house there. Firewood-wise, we are out, so I do need to work on that. So let's get us the next production building out there, which is then for the firewood. Uh, I just need to find it. Industry. And there it is, the woodcutter, woodcutter lodge. Workers can chop down nearby trees to produce firewood out of this one. Yep, let's have it. Um, let's have it also over here somewhere, I guess, where we have lots of trees, right? We could also have it down here, where there's also trees. Now, nah, let's have it in this area for now. I don't want to chop down those trees here, though. So let's kind of like try it like that. And then we have the road going around my, my oxen stand, my hitching post here. And this is where it comes then up. The woodcutter lodge that we are needing because yeah we're getting close to winter now and i should provide that probably another burgage plot has been finished there's no one living in that yet so this one of course is just as a reserve probably someone wants to move in then at some point nickel for example ah peter another peter he's he, he moved in into his own home very well yeah, and if we go in first person once again, we can see now a busy market area. 
where there is quite a lot of stuff going on already. And we can then also move down um, our majestic village all the way down here. Where there's also the farm. Fantastic. Or taking a hike up again. But this is exhausting. And I don't have the right clothes for that. Alright, in late August, Peter decides to work the field. So we'll just see what comes out of this. At least someone is working the fields now. This is this makes me hopeful that we are not going to eat berries all the time. We still have 13 bread left, so at least food type is still there, but soon the bread will be over. So I'm hoping that we make a good harvest here and then we can start making bread ourselves. That was quick. Peter and Beatrix created hens. So we got another one. And these are all farmers now. So this is a farmer family, right? And that means we do have now three farmers working the field. To make us something out of it. And as we can see, the first status here is plothing. So I think he's just doing this one. The sowing will be in spring then, right? Most likely. And woodcutter lodge finished. So there we definitely want to have someone. And that should be a permanent one. And working on this one here then will create us firewood. By the way, I probably can reduce the amount of people working here. So by now, the family is working on the field. That is just awesome to see, really. Um, we could probably get a second field out. I don't know how fast they are, though, right? So as we can see, we're almost at 50% now for the plow thing. They will not be able to do anything else here uh, for the rest of the year. So probably they could work on a second field doing that as well. This is just for preparation. This is a high fertility area. So it makes sense to me to, to do this one here now too, right? So we could make that like so. Having another field popping up then here as well. And then on the other side as well, of course, at some point. And the farm will do that, right? Because it's in the work area of the farm. And once again, this is also receiving the emmer. And we do have a crop rotation. It has then let's make it flax on the second year and barley on the third year so it's it's mixing it up a bit i think this is the safest option that we have for for this one now woodcutter lodge no one is working in there yet we probably will need to assign someone to this one here can we add a priority unfortunately we cannot let's first of all assign a a work a work area to this one We definitely do need someone there, though. Um, we have lots of food. Let's reduce the amount of people working in the forager hut. I guess it moved somewhere else, though. Give me a woodcutter, please. We do need it. Hey, give us a hand over here. Someone's working at the food stall now. Alright, someone is working at the firewood stall. We don't need anyone here yet because we don't have any firewood. Uh, people refuse to work their farm. Let's reduce that. No, let's make it three actually, but they can be idle also, right? So, those idle people work on that. Now we have someone. Perfect. Peter. I would love to have a priority system here or so that I can decide that you really need to work on this. And Peter. Once again a Peter. He's now on his way creating firewood. Crafting firewood for us. Which is going to be very important for winter. Ah, so far so good. Stay tuned. <laughs> 